this, what, it, what sets this camera apart from other cameras? What makes it revolutionary and new? It's this uh, customer friendly, eyeball friendly LCD panel. Let's see if we can eliminate that. All right, so in, in sort of standard mode, you've got your time code right here. You can see how much battery life you've got left. You can see how much of your media card is empty or full. And then if I had mics, you'd, you'd see sort of the dancing mic meters popping in and out. But one thing that's revolutionary is that all of your camera controls can be handled right here on this LCD panel. And check out what I mean. If I hit this camera button, I've got status, all right? It says I'm on automatic white balance uh, channel A. I could switch that to B, and look, it, it changes. It, it, it keeps up here. Now I'm on preset. It tells me that my iris is at an f2.8. If I close my iris down, look at that. It, it, it updates in real time. So you can sort of get some very in useful information off of here. If I go into the next camera page, it allows me to change my scene settings, my scene files. Panasonic's famous for their filmic scene files, and it's really easy to just spin through them, load one up, read it. Pr pretty, pretty good, right? On the next camera page, I can do my variable frame rate stuff. So this camera's got the variable frame rate loaded up. I can turn it on, and then I can change my frame rate up to 30. Right? All, I don't have to go into the black and white menu setting on the, on the viewfinder of the monitor. I can handle it all here. So to, to get a really good, let, let's go to camera two just for a sec. To get a really good idea of what's so useful about the LCD panel on this HPX 600, what we're going to do now is show you how to set up time code just by operating the LCD panel on the outside. All right, so let's go close on this thing. Uh, let's go even closer, please. When I jump into setup, my first setup page is my time code generator. All right? You see that this button allows me to set something. I can sort of say, all right, well, it must be about 6, uh, what is it? Well, we started at 6.30, so it's probably about 6.40 by now, right? 6.50. 6.50. Thank you very much. So let's go over here, reset. Oh, busted. All right, let's try that again. 6.50. And I don't want it to record run anymore. We're going we're to match some other cameras up, so I'm going to go to free run. When I hit set, that's it. We're, we're running. So now when I go back home, look at that. My time code free run is all set up. Six, minute, six hours, 50 minutes, we're in free run, so it's, it's running hard. You can see that we're in drop frame, and you can see that we're in free run time code. Pretty awesome. So very user friendly to sort of get, get at those menu settings that previously you had to sort of dig through the menu system of the camera. Now they're brought all the way out here on your LCD panel. I'm really a big fan of that. Uh